found the man who did his tattoo in Santa Cruz. Afraid of attracting police attention, he wouldn't reveal his face. We asked if there was any fascist symbolism in the design. The media in Bolivia, where the killings are still a major story over six months on, have not focused on the tattoo. There are plenty of other angles on the story. The prosecutor claims to have amassed 20,000 pages of evidence against the Las Americas group. The evidence includes an arsenal of explosives, guns and other weapons allegedly linked to the group, and many photos of the men in various poses holding guns. Rosa tuvo dos eh, sesiones muy grandes, dos cursos muy grandes de entrenamiento. Eh, prepararon aproximadamente a 300, 350 personas para que puedan participar en lo que hasta donde se sabe era la defensa de Santa Cruz. Pero los documentos eh, que escribe Rosa hablan de la liberación de Santa Cruz y de la separación de Santa Cruz. Si alguien le ha dicho a usted que los cruceños no estaban ni nada raro, eh, le ha mentido. Lamentablemente los cruceños sí estaban metidos en esto. in Santa Cruz. Taken on its own, it might seem like an innocent excursion, but taken with other evidence, it looks stunning. Also in the picture are Russia Flores and two Hungarians.
The attack on the Cardinal's house is important because it is that which police claim prompted their deadly raid on the Dwyer Group. That raid began sometime after 3 a.m. on last April 16th when about 20 elite police arrived at the Hotel Las Americas. They locked two staff in a room and went upstairs. They blasted the door of Russia Flora's room, 458. It's not clear what happens next, but by 4.30 a.m., three men were dead. Michael Dwyer, Eduardo Rocha Flores, and Arpad Magyarosh. Two were arrested, Mario Tadic and Elod Toasso. Uno de los que incursionó en el Hotel Las Américas, el señor Andrade, el capitán Andrade, manifiesta en su declaración que ellos gritaron eh, alto policía, detén, o, o sea, ríndanse policía, pero ellos no hicieron caso y el primero que disparó fue Eduardo Rosa Flores. Eduardo Rosa Flores empieza a disparar y posteriormente Dwyer y, y Magyarosa. The killings raised serious human rights questions. No matter what the men were up to, why weren't they arrested? Were they simply assassinated? And was there really a 30 minute shootout, as the government claims? Local residents who heard the raid say no. <laughs> But can we trust those forensic tests? The crime scene wasn't sealed off until around 12 hours after the shootings. In the meantime, dozens of police, journalists and hotel staff moved in and out of the rooms where the men's dead bodies lay uncovered. Many police were coming in and back and forth and going to the room, outside, others taking pictures. A Bolivian police video filmed in the aftermath of the raid reveals no attempt to preserve the crime scene. Back in Budapest, a former senior Hungarian police officer who was advising the family of Arpad Magyaros has analyzed the footage. A helységeken, illetve hát itt a folyosón, látjuk azt, hogy rengeteg ember tartózkodik a, a, a folyosón, tehát nincs egy, nincs egy steril helyszín, nincs kiürítve egyáltalán a rendőrség által. Nincs egy steril ö, olyan helyszín, ahol adott esetben DNS vizsgálatot vagy ilyen mintákat lehetne ö, venni a helyszín előttnek. Sem szakszerűségben, sem jogszerűségben ez az intézkedés nem elfogadható. In Ireland too, there are major doubts about the Bolivian forensic test results. State pathologist Mari Cassidy believes they are not reliable. She told a recent inquest into Michael Dwyer's death that in Ireland, the hands of a victim would be immediately covered to prevent from contamination by others who had handled guns. In Santa Cruz, the hands of the dead men were left uncovered for hours. Professor Cassidy also described the Bolivian autopsy as incomplete. It found that Dwyer had been shot six times, but her own autopsy found he had been shot only once. She also said that the path of the bullet suggests Dwyer was killed by someone who was standing, and that the Irishman was at a lower level, bent down, sitting down. <laughs> 